Hey guys, uh, Dan here, doing an update on my 60 gallon. I'm um, trying to make this quick as possible. My last update took like three days to upload, which is crazy. It was only like 12 minutes, so whatever. I got a new shipment of plants in. Um, first off, let me go through um, my Anubius plant up here. It's starting to put out a lot of new leaves, and this flower supposedly it has this little white thing coming out and I don't I don't know what that is so I'll just wait and see what happens with that spiky moss is like dying over here it's uh, sorry my dog is drinking let's let her finish real quick take a look at some of the fish Okay, she's so she's really thirsty. I'll just keep going. Um, so I got my new shipment of plants. I got, I trimmed the Rotella magenta over here and put some Blixa japonica right there. Sorry, my air pump just fell, oh, whatever. <clears throat> and um, the Blixa it looks like it's doing pretty good. I like how it looks right there. So I'll see how that goes. I got some uh, Mirio um, red tuberculatum right back there and you can, in the camera it looks like it's like I don't know just a dull yellow or gray but it's actually a really deep red um, if you're actually looking at it the camera is just making it look weird and then I've got some uh, Didiplus deandra I think that's how you say it, or um, blood stargrass, and it's a uh, um, it's pretty green right now. But um, I just tested my phosphate <coughs> up here, and as you can see, it's like a pretty deep blue, or it's a it's a blue. So I'd say it's about two ish. So the phosphate is pretty high on it, so it should be getting colored up soon. Um, this um, plant, I think I know the name, it's like Mirophyllum matragensis, I don't know, forget it, I don't know, but it's growing taller, the, um, I trimmed the Limnophila aromatica, um, there's a little ram, ram's horn snail in my water circulator, <laughs> I'm still really sick guys, ugh, sorry, <laughs> the camera, or my phone makes me sound like I'm like a ten year old. Um, oak oh, to uh I also got along with uh, other plants, I got this which is Nessia Nessia, I don't know, um Crassicalis. Um, it's like the um this is the immersed form as they sent it, so I've just got it and these are like huge. If you like put them all together it looks like a big bushel of collards and um, so they're like really big leaves and um, I'm just letting it plant I planted it right in the middle so it can transform from the immersed to submerged so if you want to see how that turns out um, the Ludwigia colorata I think that's what it is I still am not sure it's um, growing well got some color going on the, the veins there which is neat and then my Limnophila, uh, in, or no, Ludwigia inclinata var verticillata. That's what it's called. It is getting redder and redder now that I've started dosing a lot more phosphate. It's another ram's horn snail. Ever since I added these new plants, I'm getting a lot of ram's horn snails. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah. And, um, <clears throat> um, as you can see, the tank is always purling, like usual. <clears throat> Ow. Oh yeah, and I added this plant over here, right there. That one. It it, it looks kind of like the the um, Ludwigia, 
but it's Pogo Stamon Erectus. So, and um, yeah, my corkscrew valves back there, uh, I thinned them out, and I just let them float up there. I had like 50 in there, but I just sold a couple, or a bunch actually, I sold about 20 and shipped them off today, I guess, uh, yeah, one today and one yesterday, so I have about 20 or so left, I already sold them all, so they're about to be gone. Dwarf Sad is doing great, and um... You know, it's just going great. <clears throat> yep, that's about it. So, thank you for watching this video. And subscribe.